integrated into each of my survival systems, you will find I have a medical module. First aid equipment is important during a survival or everyday situation. The fact of life is that people are going to get hurt and there's no avoiding that accidents happen. Seen here is a durable hard shell case by Pelican. This model happens to be the regular 1500 model. It also comes in a specific EMS version as well. I own this orange 1500 regular case and I also own a black 1500 EMS case which I will cover in another review. I chose to go with the Pelican case because they're durable, reliable, and their functionality is perfect for my needs. Waterproof, dustproof, airtight, and crush resistant. I know that the emergency items inside will be safe and dry for when they're needed the most. To open the case, it's as easy as opening their two stage latches like so. It can be opened with one finger. After that, all we have to do is open the lid. What you see in front of you is an attachment that actually goes on the inside lid of this Pelican case. And on the back, it has two Velcro attachments which attach to Velcro that is stuck on the lid of my case. And here we have a two pocket little pouch. And this pouch and the main folding out pouch that you'll see later in this video are made by a company called AB First Aid Store. And these pouches are made specifically for the Pelican 1500 case. So without further ado, let's take a look at the items inside. Inside you'll find a blood stopper gauze, a CPR mask, two instant cold compresses. On the other side we will find a pack of Insta-Glucose, three ammonia inhalants, a general pair of EMS shears, an Asherman chest seal, a bunch of tongue depressors which can also be used as splints. The last item we'll find is a Streamlight stylus. What I have on the interior of my case is extremely similar to what I have on the lid and this helps keep my case organized. AB First Aid Store also designed this that fits in the interior of the case and this is a multiple level folding organizer and we'll pull it out one level at a time and we'll kind of look at what's inside and then I'll show you the organizer fully stretched out and what it looks like with all the items inside. So what we have here are just some nitrile gloves. We have a pair of tweezers, nail clippers, and small bandage shears. I have an emergency trauma wound dressing called the emergency bandage. What you see here are more pairs of gloves. I like to carry multiple pair. Let's say somebody gets a hold of this kit and maybe they don't know how to use anything inside or maybe I'm just freaking out and I don't remember what to do. I also keep some quick instructions and a very colorful chart here with symptoms and treatments. A standard package of non-sterile roller gauze, a small package of conforming gauze. Most people only stock cold compresses. I choose to also take a hot compress uh, I often pull muscles in my shoulder, so a hot compress is a must-have in my first aid kit. I just keep this small dental medic in my kit. Also up front we have a triangular bandage. The next section we have is the medication module, and I kind of group these together for ease of use. So what you see here are some ibuprofen, also known as Advil, some sinus pressure relief, which is good for decongestion of your nose and chest, some Dyphen, which is also known as Benadryl, some diamode, which is antidiarrheal, and behind that are antacids. And over here we have non-aspirin, which is Tylenol. And I have different types. I have the 500 milligram, and I have the, I believe it's 250 milligram. Here we have some hydrocortisone cream, which is also known under the brand name of Cortisone 10. I have some ampules up here, which are kind of like little tubes that you bust open, and these are for sting relief and itch relief. I have some antiseptic wipes here which are good for after bug bites and they have a kind of a pain reliever in them as well. I have some burn cream, burn gel, and antibiotic ointment. I choose to carry water gels triple antibiotic in the individual packages and the behind that I have a tube of Neosporin. This entire row here is filled with sterile saline solution which is good for irrigating wounds as well as cotton tip applicators which are sterile as well for putting on topical ointments. Here we have some oral rehydration salts, some alcohol prep pads and hand wipes, hand sanitizer and sunscreen. Over here we have two cases of splinter out which are splinter removers, two normal pen lights, and a few disposable thermometers. Here I seem to have all the baby slash safety pens ever made in the world. I have a sterile baby bunting and behind that is an emergency foil blanket. 
here I have iodine prep pads and behind this these yellow packages are poison ivy washes. Here we have a small burn dressing that is soaked in the burn gel. I have some bandages and some larger bandages behind that. I also have cloth tape. Over here I carry some non-stick gauze pads, some eye pads, as well as some absorbent gauze. Back here I carry a very large water gel burn dressing inside of a plastic Ziploc bag. Should this foil pouch break, <laughs> it wouldn't go everywhere in my kit. I also have some vomit bags, which also measure the amount of fluid lost. I have a very large blood stop gauze pad, and I also have another small burn dressing from water gel. I choose to keep three of these non-stick dressings, which are great for putting over a wound. Here is what the organizer looks all stretched out. So everything is extremely easy to access and it folds right up into the case. And here you can see the top part actually in the lid of the Pelican case. If you guys would like more videos about my medical gear or perhaps my bug out bag, please leave a comment below and I will be glad to do the reviews. So a little teaser of what we have coming up is a review of my Blackhawk medical roll, which you see here on the left, and my Blackhawk Stomp 2 medical backpack, which is what you see here on the right. So if you guys would like to see these, leave a comment below and I'll gladly do a review of these. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you guys could give it a like, a favorite, and leave a comment, that would mean the world to me. Also, the subscription button is below and it's waiting for your click.